Hello everybody, my name is Kitten, welcome back from the video of Suzerain. We're going to continue this series. In the last video, we went ahead and did a couple of things. Uh, we talked uh, to our ministers and stuff like that. We got sworn in. Uh, we got some reports and all, and we got some congratulations uh, from parts of all the other places, countries or whatever. So uh, we are now, I think everything that's in the colors is actually part of mine. It's my provinces. So this entire thing is my country. Uh, the only difference is these little parts right here are all provinces or um, I guess states, whatever you want to call them. Uh, that's what they are, boys. So that's interesting. Uh, we're going to continue straight off. I don't know how exactly I'm supposed to change policies and stuff like that. Um, we'll see how it goes, I guess, uh, for the policies. I'm not too sure how that works. I imagine you can't change that via this screen, these screens. You gotta actually change it uh, via the uh, dialogue options, probably. So I imagine that's what you gotta do. So let's just hop on in. Meeting on the media strategy or briefing on the current economic situation. Uh, let's just have the meeting. Uh, white room, matter, pa matter room, palace. Let's have the briefing on the economy, economic situation right here, because it's very important for me. So. Simon Hall, Gus Munger, and Leo Graf were about to arrive on the White Room for a scheduled economy uh, meeting. This was the room in the Maroon Palace uh, where all important meetings were held. Alright, so we've got uh, this guy, the Mr. Minister of Economy, Rural Development, and Interior. Okay, let's see what we got. Two assistants arrived first, carrying a heavy projector. They stood with it by the door, waiting for the minister to enter. From the hallway, I heard uh, Graf, uh, Graf's voice, or the Minister of Interior's uh, voice. She was using the patient, almost um, motherly tone she often took in heated arguments. Okay. Uh, Graf, uh, Gus, do you really think that such an economically, uh, economically uh, advanced area is more in need of investment than e uh, England? Okay. So, uh, lead us my interior minister straight uh, strolled in. She was clad, or clad in shades of brown and beige. Uh, the only spot of color of bright yellow nourished star on the necklace. Gus followed close behind. Don't be an idiot, Lilith. What about the unemployment crisis uh, the greater uh, Orsord and Gesland uh, regions are going through? These areas are our economic earth, uh, earth land. Alright, Gus curled his hands into fists. The Minister of Agriculture and Rural Development's temper hadn't changed since his days in the Alfonso, uh, Alfonso administration, but neither has his reputation for getting things done. His far-reaching network of connections was unlike any other. Gotta keep that in mind, boys. Uh, Gus has a lot of a connection. Uh, Simon quickly stepped between the two ministers without looking at either of them. He clearly he cleared his throat. Good morning, Mr. President. Uh, good morning, everyone. There we go. I am very well motivated. Uh, I'm very well and motivated, Mr. Rain. It seems our ministers are feeling the same. Just as expected. How is it going, uh, Gus and Linus? I'm clearly. I can clearly see that. What was this discussion about? Great to hear. Let's let's start. I'm all about business, boys. Of course. All right. So Simon pulled a silk. Uh, in Anger sheaf out of his pocket and briefly wiped his glasses. My staff and I have comprehensively analyzed every aspect of. He was interrupted by a groan from one of the assistants by the door, both of whom were now visibly struggling to hold up the he heavy projector. Oh, you can put that there, I guess. He pointed below the painting of the president, uh, President Soul. The assistants placed the projector next to the table and installed. A white screen on the wall. Uh, leave now. I mean, thank you and please leave now. There we go. The assistants left the cabinet room. It was reminded that Simon had never quite had a way with people. But his facility with, uh, uh, facility with numbers had made him the most sought-after economic specialist in Swordland. Okay. Uh, Simon started looking for slides. He, is always carry he always carries documentation uh, around him. Uh, wait or yawn. I'm just gonna wait. There we go. Let us learn to lean to the table and spoke. Uh, Simon, what happened to the new police station construction in uh, Edstort? 
While going through this uh, briefcase, he, he paused for a moment to answer. Uh, if it got stalled due to a government property boundary issue, I've been meaning to look at it. I can take a look at, uh, at that uh, one. Esther needs all the security help it can get. Uh, I, I don't know where Esther is, boys. I'm gonna hide it really quick. Uh, where's Esther? Let's, uh, let's take a look really quick. So, this is Old Sword. This is our, uh, us right now. This is the main place. Where's Esther? Right here. This is there. Legend I Trying to figure out which city it is. Well, I can't see for the life of me. I can't see the, the actual place, boys. I, I don't know where it is. Alright, whatever, I guess. So, uh, sure, more time for me to spend on analysis. His eyes glittered where, when he finally found the slides he were looking for. There have been many, uh, uh, there have been some developments about the sword of Shren uh, lo losing further value today. We have been f uh, trying to stabilize, stabilize it with the central bank. Uh, the recession of 51 put enormous pressure on the economy resulting in a collapse of the value of our currency. The entire situation was a significant cause of concern for an administration. Uh, what would you like to know about the current econo economic situation? All right, well, what is our GDP and debt situation? What is our unemployment and influ inflation? What is the status of recession? Yeah, what's the status of recession, by the way? Yeah, I kind of want to know that. Uh, the decision about... Uh, of about minus 6% in the past year. The average GDP has dropped uh, from SR whatever to this. I don't know what that means exactly, boys. I'm not the con I'm not an economic dude. I don't know anything about that. You guys can let me know, I guess. Uh, this administration's success depends on our ability to stop the recession. Uh, the sooner we can reach the GDP growth, the better. So I guess it dropped by 5,000. I don't know what that means exactly. Is that big? Is that not big? I do know that minus 6% looks like a, a bad number. What is our GDP in depth situation? What is our unemployment? Uh, okay, so yeah, what is our depth situation right here? Our current uh, depth is 310 billion sort of shren and the national depth is 427 billion. We are in death that much, that much. That's a lot. Okay, so that's our, that's actually our budget right now. I think that's our wealth. Yeah, I think that's our wealth and that's our national death, I think. So we got to pay this and we don't have enough money. All right, well, we're doing all right, I guess. It's still hard to fathom that we lost nearly 150 billion in wealth. The past three years were tough. Yeah, we lost a lot in wealth. Okay. What is our unemployment and inflation uh, inflation rate? Unemployment has skyrocketed. It is now at a staggered 16% and inflation is at a rate, relative high of 7%. That's not good. Yeah, all right. So we got to drop that. 16% uh, of um, unemployment is way too much. You kind of want to have a 9, 10% is all right. Uh, above that is way too much, boys. So we gotta fix that shit. Unemployment is increasing crime and drug use, of course. We need to get people off the streets. The inflation isn't helping our average citizen either. As you can see, the situation is alarming. But not everything is negative. The extensive privatization program of Alfonso left us a large budget surplus, which we can use to stabilize the crisis. All right, so uh, definitely do that. The primary subject we need to settle on is what general path we uh, take in our term. Sol uh, Solana makes a base nationalization uh, happen in the 30s and Alfonso's privatization began during the end of the 40s. What, we, uh, what will our administration focus on? One of our main promises was to promote a free market economy. That's true, I want a free market. To stop the recession. To be frank, I believe it is the only way out of the recession. Me too. I mean, the only way out of a recession is to trade with everyone. Trade with other countries that have less problems in terms of economy. They can help us out in that way. You know, they can uh, help us in a big way. Uh, I still do not support it. Uh, we are, why pri uh, promote the private sector when we have qualified state-owned enterpri enterprises? Because the lack of competition has made them inefficient. Exactly. We need people. We need a help from other sides than just our own companies. We can't monopolize anything. Simon nodded. Exactly. 
What are the consequences of the free market? Okay, so the more of a, uh, the more of the economy we control, the better we can manage the recession. What are the downslides on the pla of the planned economy? Uh, humanity in the 20th century is thriving because of the rule of supply and demand. Exactly. Agreed. Look at how quickly Lesbia and Arcasia have increased their prosperity by embracing their basic principles. Swordland has the potential to do so as well. Why don't we take our potential seriously? Yes, there we go. That's my guys right there. That's what I'm talking about. Uh, integrating heavily in market in a market economy would work if we had extensive means of production. Our industry is lacking. We our industry is not going to be lacking for too long if we if we work on it. My girl, that's how we're going to do this. We're going to build more factories, get, uh, get rid of the unemployment, then we're going to get the industry and then we're going to be able to ship out this stuff for the civil for the uh, economy. Come on now. The structural problems of solar economics were going to uh, uh, were going to lead to a recession, according to the predictions at the time. Anyway, either way, e even if we pick one of the doctrines, we retain the option to make economic choices on a case uh, by case basis. Okay, that's good. Uh, that is, however, not recommended in my point of view. The last thing we need is a chaotic economic plan. Finally, something we can both agree on. All right, so there is another important point which has a direct, uh, direct impact on our economy, superpowers. Uh, we have done well not aligning ourselves with any one of them. Economically uh, speaking, a, a socialist uh, policy overall could only work if we were to reap the benefits of both spheres and their rivalry. There is, uh, this is a very dangerous, uh, very dangerous to attempt, but still possible. We must be very cautious. There are schemes being devised about Swordland. We cannot give uh, a give in to their wants now and the f or in the future. Otherwise, our country will turn into a pawn. What's the matter? What's, what's the solution then? I don't care if we become a puppet or whatever. Uh, as long as our country does well. That's all that matters. It doesn't matter if we are a puppet. It, all that matters is the country does well. Solon would not be controlled by any nations. Exactly. Sol was uh, was right all along with his policies. I still haven't decided if they wish to come with a deal. Uh, time will show if staying neutral will work out. All right. So we must take make it to, uh, work to protect our country and our values. There is no other way. We need to be open to other possibilities. Arcasia is a strong country. And if we end up in their sphere, Solon would increase its influence in the world. Uh, the deals would get, uh, uh, we would uh, get would surely bring us out of recession. Well, I want to get out of it. That's for sure. In return for what? Our independence? When the time comes, I hope you will uh, make the right decision for our own good. Simon cleared his throat again. Let's not get ahead of ourselves. Minister Witchy will be in charge of informing you on those types of foreign policy decisions. So we must first decide on our internal economic uh, plan. Simon put forward a legal document uh, outlining the possibilities with both economic uh, doctrines listed. The cabinet members looked at me. All right, so we have to thank Seoul and his planned economy for the boom. It clearly shows the success. No, I don't want to do it. I don't want to do that. I want to change things. Let's finish what Alfonso started with the capitalist free market uh, reforms. His path was going to enrich Shortland. What's on our long term uh, economic schedule? Would a free market would uh, bring us uh, strong allies? Yeah, would a free market uh, focus bring us strong allies? Uh, I kind of want that, right? It would make Arcasia look at uh, at our country in a more positive light. There are op op opponents of the free market economy. Influence Arcasia has on the world economy is extensive. Our economic uh, strategy should be based on internal reasoning, though. Okay, so uh, what's our long-term economic schedule? I'm just going to say, let's finish what Alfonso started. Uh, let's finish what he started with the free market reforms. I want, to, I want to go for the free market big time. Let's do that uh, all day, every day. The recession was the direct result of his free market res uh, reforms. Uh, history must not uh, know that the reason for the recession was because Ewald Alfonso was betrayed by his party. Exactly. He was betrayed by his party. He didn't have time to help out. So uh, the, the country. So, you know, it's it's a different thing. Uh, that is not true. There was plenty of time for him to do it. 
If you can't make change happen in two years, that's uh, then you are at fault. That's bullshit, Lilas. The fuck are you talking about? Two years? A prison can barely do anything in four years. What makes you think in two years he's going to be able to do anything at all? Like in two years, he's basically have his his no uh, his finger up his ass. He can't do nothing, especially with the Senate and everything. What the fuck am I supposed to do? No votes are going to come true, boys. And nothing major is going to come true in two years. This girl must be living in uh, Wonderland or something. Uh, what's on the long term? Uh, yeah, what's the long term uh, plan right here? Picking a construction company, trade relations, tax reforms, and privatization initiatives uh, would be some of them. All right. Here's the thing. I know we're in recession. We're not going to help the recession out by taxing people. That's not going to happen. You know what happened with the Americans when they got taxed? They revolted and they became they became America basically. So that's not going to happen, all right? I'm not taxing anybody. You know what happens when you tax people? They revolt. You don't tax people. That's just not going to happen. Uh, trade relations. I can make trade relations with other countries. I think I'm going to trade often with other countries and I'm going to pick cons uh, a construction company maybe. We'll see. Stick to, uh, sticking to a solid plan economy strategy will be the right call. The five-year plans were fruitful in the past. Sounds like a communist thing to do. I don't know, man. All right, let's move on. Five-year plans, I don't know about those. Uh, what are our final thoughts then, uh, Mr. President? Uh, critical instructions must remain in the state control. Uh, we, uh, we must finally be responsible for delivering services. I don't care about that. We should look at opportunities like privatization to create financial resources. Okay, so a market economy does not require as much guidance. It could help us attract foreign capital. It is hard to fully agree or disagree. I think a market economy doesn't require as much guidance, to be honest. I think we can tra trade with other countries and that would in turn help us out. I think uh, that should be enough. Especially for Acacia, uh, President Walker is always interested in expanding the economic zone of Edo. Uh, we should secure lucrative investments from capitalist uh, countries. So what would our general economic plan promote? Promote a free market economy as we promised. Exactly. We're going to obviously make due to our promise. We make promises, boys. We make them. All right. We give them. Uh, give it to the people. All right. So I can't say that I agree with this. Well, uh, you don't have to agree with me, Lilas. I think this girl, I'm going to have to get rid of her, boys, in the minister's seat. I'm going to have to replace her because she's going to be a problem. Uh, she looks displeased. Now that there is a clarity on which direction we are heading, I will work on a good plan accordingly. This concludes our meeting. At our next gathering, we will talk about the upcoming infrastructure investment plan. And now that the economic direction was taken, the minister dispersed for lunch. Boom. All right, so game saved. Uh, we got the economic situation dealt with, boys. Uh, we've got that. It's a country overview. We are going to go for... So, economy, as you can see right here. Promote market economy. So, we got that, boys. Now that we uh, are doing that. Stagnate production. Okay, so... Stagnated production, as you can see right here. It's management and lack of direction in economic policies. These are all the current situation right here. Tax evasion. Ooh, that's not good. That's really not good. Decreased trade volumes. Yeah. So we're going to try and help out as much as possible right here. So that's the country overview. What about the political side? So that's uh, Gloria is the member, is the speaker of the Grand Assembly. I haven't talked really to any of them. Uh, the leader of the opposition, which is Frank Richter. I haven't talked to him yet. I actually haven't talked to him. So he's part of the reformists. Do we got the oligarch? We are going to try and get rid of uh, Orso and his uh, old guard. The cabinet. This is the uh, this is the girl right here. So far, I've been all right with him and all most of these guys. I am not all right with her. Uh, she's going to be a problem. She's opposing me quite hard. Let's take at our journal right here, boys. Turn one. So we have won the uh, 1953 election. I declare my intentions to work with the reformists. For the constitutional reform, exactly. And I made a decision to make a promo uh, to promote the market economy in the country. Just so we can actually work uh, with Arcasia boys. Uh, what about her? Is there any way to get rid of her eventually? Huh? I don't know, boys. 
I definitely do want to do that eventually. So we can, we have a couple of pop-ups in here, here and there. Um, we have actually something, an event over Lakaven as well. So we might want to go in there. Uh, let me see what this is. Read the report from Morna. Increasing unemployment. Okay, so we got in the unemployment over here in um, this place. What about you? Uh, infrastructure report. Recession led to reducing real assets. So yeah, we got an infrastructure report uh, right here. Promising agriculture growth. Okay, so over here they're doing all right. They're doing good over here actually. They got some good agriculture, which is good. Uh, in Langbird, uh, infrastructure report. The recent collapse of tourism. Okay, so not enough tourism over here. Okay, that's fine. So what's waiting for me over here in the capital? The media strategy. And over here is the mega infrastructure. Decision to invest in one of two planned mega infrastructure projects uh, in Lakavan. Well, first thing we're going to do, first thing we've got some news here. So let's see, unread news. Uh, Swordland today. What we got? Economy, economy meeting held in Orsla. Contacts of the government, prison and the realms. Nothing interesting. Uh, what about this? The Scabin and Times. Uh, Meteorological Institute has reported a record low temperature of min minus 29 in the city of Uzerin. Running through frostbite. Ooh, that's interesting. A radical. Nationalist violence. A man in his 20s has been beaten with a baseball bat in paramilitary style attack in Ar Arbery. Ooh, that's not good. Go to the location. Uh, where's that? Ivory. Oh, this is... Ooh. Yeah, all right. So tax with a baseball bat. That's not good. Uh, economists. A new prototype for the for, uh, first pocket radio was displayed by the Arcasian Electronics. Very good, boy. So we got a couple of stuff. All right. Well, I'm actually going to hold my meeting in the capital. I'm not going to go uh, anywhere yet. Where's their Arcasia? Exactly. I'm not sure, boys. I'm not sure which one it is, to be honest, Arcasia. But uh, we're going to try to be friendly with them wherever they are. I'm gonna try and be friendly with them. First off, let's have our media me uh, strategy though. Let's see what this is all about. So Leisure and Peter arrived. Developments for the media strategy. They both took their seats across from me. Lucian put on his reading glass and quickly went over the documents. All right, let's begin. Uh, first of all, Lucian, you mentioned that Marshall Caronti contacted you. The Carantis has always been known as one of the richest and most influential families in Swordland. Uh, Mr. Caronti was no exception. Alright, so it looks like we've got uh, influential people in there. Uh, he was the oldest uh, son of Korath Karanti, the industrious and media mogul for, uh, who founded HOS, the richest man in the entire city. Uh, entirety of the, the, I guess, Swordland, our, our country. Okay, so I don't know what that is. HOS, the art of Swordland conglomerate, is a multi-industry corporation worth tens of billions. Okay. Well, maybe if we can get him in our pockets, that would be a lot capitalist though, but if we can give him, uh, get him into our pockets, we can probably get him to help us out uh, with the whole sit uh, recession type of deal, right? Lucian turned on uh, to me. He has offered to meet with you. All right, so what does he want? Uh, why is Kamra sending his son? Yeah. Uh, why should we? Uh, yeah, what is he sending his son for? Can he not go uh, uh, go into it himself? Uh, he uh, unfortunately passed away today. Wait, what? Today he passed away? Okay then. All right, then. I guess that's fine. Uh, after the passing of his father, he may rest in peace. Marcel aims to become the next CEO. He mentioned a productive collaboration. Okay. Uh, they are powerful influ and influential media conglomerate. To start, the, uh, to start with, they own the Swordland Today's no, uh, Today newspaper, the Swordish Broadcasting Corporation, the, which means it would be easy, it, it would be wise to have them on our side. Okay, uh, sorry for interrupting. All right, well, if we can have the paper on our side, sure, I guess, right? Bra brainwash the paper, nothing new. Nothing new, uh, the media being uh, on the side of somebody, not being neutral. Uh, what does this productive collaboration entail? Let's consider, consider our options first. No need to be hasty. Sounds like there's a potential there. 
Well, let's consider our options first. No need to be hasty. Exactly. All right, let's consider options. I agree. We need to be careful. Uh, one thing I do not like is media, boys. I do not like newspapers, media, any sorts of media. I don't like it at all. I am the I am the mo the biggest enemy of the media. So um, I, I would literally not work with them. I think I would destroy the media altogether. So we'll see how it goes, though. But let's not get ahead of ourselves. First, we need to determine how our general approach to media. All right, so I'm not a media expert, but Lucian made some very interesting arguments at the pre uh, pre uh, preparation meeting uh, yesterday. There are two ways we can approach the media. One of them is influencing it, which uh, has a clear advantages. The other one is keeping it independent. Uh, the media must be independent. The well, the media is a tool. I'm not going to keep it as in independent. If I can't break it, I'm just going to control it. All right. So it's, it's a tool to be used. Exactly. I agree. Media plays a huge role in adapting public opinion towards our views and policies while helping us avoid damage from scandals or mistakes. Exactly. Uh, while I do acknowledge that this will sound a bit harsh, I certainly believe that our perspective, knowledge, and experience allows us to have a superior judgment compared to the average uh, citizen. Uh, I see what you're getting at. That does sound harsh. I I, I share your opinion. Yeah, people are dumb, and they're not gonna they're gonna believe anything the media tell them anyways. So, uh, yeah, we we can control the media. We can control the population, boys. Uh, I concur. If we if we don't use it. We would be able to, uh, we should be able to have control over it. All right. Even if we don't use it. Okay. Uh, you're both are, uh, you, bo you both are aware of my certain expertise uh, with public opinion swearing. Uh, I will make sure the media is on our side. All right. So two knocks were he uh, heard on the door. Please come in. Livia Suno, my new secretary, entered the office. Okay. What does she want? Her dark curls bounced as she crossed the room to my desk. She both uh, spoke with a slight lilt in her voice. Excuse me, Mr. President. Uh, Mr. Galad's secretary has been calling me and wanted to me to relay a message. Uh, Marcel Caronti, the new CEO, uh, is on the line for, ma uh, for Mr. Galadi. Okay, well, the ball is on our court now. Now it's time to move. Would you like to talk to him, sir? Or would uh, you like me to? I ta I'll talk to him. Connect the line to my office. You go ahead. Uh, connect the line to my office. Yeah, you go ahead. You talk to him. I'm not going to I'm not gonna talk to him. All right, so right away, sir, connecting the call to uh, to line one. All right, so Lydia uh, left the room and the phone started ringing. Lucian picked up the, uh, the phone and started to listen. A few minutes passed as the two talked over the phone. Uh, good news indeed. Congratulations, Mr. Cronty. Thank you for contacting me about this. We'll talk later. All right, Lucian put the phone down. What was that? Uh, what was so important that he couldn't wait? Well, he was just elected CEO by the board of directors. He offered a partnership deal regarding his media branch. He is inviting us to uh, to his resort near Conraf for a meeting. Okay, all right. Uh, the board has decided rather quickly. It seems that gave... Uh, it seems I gave him the confidence to approach us again. Uh, he's going to offer us uh, a real deal and now has the power of the conglomerate too. The choice is up to you, Mr. President. I can set up a meeting soon. Uh, I would like to hear your opinion, Peter. Arrange the meeting with Mr. Caronti. I do not want to associate with a medium muggle. Reject the offer. I'm going to arrange the meeting. Let's arrange the meeting right away. Uh, we are going to associate ourselves with him. Uh, if we can control the media, we can control anybody. So uh, we definitely need that. I'll set things up right away. Accept the World Frile, uh, expect a World Frile, uh meeting uh, next month. Okay. Uh, it's settled then. Looking forward to the next month. I wonder if, uh, if he has a pool. Lucian looked at his watch. It appears we're done for today. We'll continue where we left off. All right. So good work from Marshall. Keep it up. Uh, see you soon, gentlemen. Yeah. Good, good luck with, uh, good work with Marshall. I'm actually going to tell them that they do, or they're doing a good job. It's important to tell them that. Uh, now that before gathering their documents and leaving my office, we're already getting the attention of key figures and potentially dangerous ones. Well, I don't care about the dangerous ones as long as we get help from people. So Marcel Caronti might be on our side. We got some news, newspapers. So then today Caronti passed away. Yeah. Uh, the radical glamorous inauguration ball. 
and geopolitical sort of regional trade as the reign administration starts its first term there is a question on all our heads what will be the regional internal uh, international trade policy okay whatever we've got uh, the journal as well so accepting the offer to privately meet with the, uh, the new ceo doesn't mean i'm going to work with him it just means i'm going to meet with him boy so it's important to do that we've got that done uh now we can have campaign finance uh, finance bill so sign or veto the electoral uh campaign finance bill that was approved by the grand national assembly so we can do that uh we got a report so read the report from oswald party committee report what is this so reform uh committee reports that any potential change to constitution in direction of the reformists will likely result in a strong opposition for the national front party i don't care uh, members of the assembly in support of such direction seems to be in great numbers uh, and possibly make up a majority in the grand assembly uh, while most members of the united starting party seems reluctant about supporting such changes okay then uh, what about here we still have to uh, make a decision if we invest on mega infrastructure or not um, i'm not too sure i'm actually gonna go there and make that decision right away boys uh, or do i uh, economic development economic uh, development boys is actually going up i think it was at three bars it's at four bars now uh which is very good we want all of this to go up boys the budget the wealth economic right economy economy uh we want it to go up everything needs to go up all right so what else do we have i think we're good i think we're good for now let's let's uh do the uh, the plan right here actually you know what let's make a vote i think it's the what's gonna it's gonna take the last amount of time um i'm gonna i'm gonna do the campaign i guess let's uh go to Oldsward or actually no let's go here let's go to uh to do this so uh, do we want to invest in an infrastructure the ministry of economy has put forward two plans of uh, for mega uh, mega infrastructure projects that would help with the econ economic recession in long term Investing in a project of this scale would take up some, uh, some portion of our budget, but could provide worthwhile, uh, worthwhile if we accomplish successfully. So invest in mega infrastructure project, project, minus one government budget, but uh, our economy in the long term could go up. Uh, I'm going to invest. Yes, I'm going to invest, boys. Let's do it. Boom. So it's done. So we are down by uh, on number two now budget, but in long term it should go up right here so that's exactly what i want discussion to the potential uh infrastructure project all right so i'm not going to do that just yet i don't want to do any discussion and what about the bill right here what's the uh what's this all right so we got a first electoral campaign boys finance bill the criteria for the allocation of public funds shall no longer be according to the number of votes who won in the general election by a political party. Uh, the new criteria shall be propo uh, the proportion of seats won by a political party in the assembly. Political parties shall receive an annual amount of 500,000 rand uh, per member of the assembly. This results in a doubling of the USP election budget and uh, USP was that is that us that's uh i think that's us yeah that's that's us so a doubling of our budget which is really good and uh a slight increase in the other parties in the assembly while effectively removing all funding from parties that are below the 10 percent election threshold oh, okay i got you so it's privatizing uh it's prioritizing the bigger parties and not giving chance to the smaller parties I like the idea of having a double amount of budget, boys. But the problem is, I, I don't, I do not want to risk alienating people because if I, if I sign it, what's going to happen is the smaller parties are not going to have any chances, barely any chances to, to actually be uh, winners. It's going to be like the Americans; they're not going to have any chance of winning. I'm going to veto on this one. It seems like a stupid one, stupid go uh, thing to do, but I'm going to veto it just because I think I, I don't want to I don't want to do this to uh, to the budget for the other parties, the minor parties. I want to keep them. So I'm going to veto it, boys. Veto it. Let's see. It's not going to get voted on, I think. Uh, if I veto it, it's not going to get voted on. So 
Uh, I have vetoed a new electoral campaign finance bill that was passed by the assembly. So the assembly has passed it, but I did not. So it's not going to go through. So we're going to leave it for today, boys. Remember to leave a like and subscribe if you enjoyed the video. See you guys for the next one where we're going to talk more about economics and infrastructure projects and stuff like that. Uh, uh, let's look at the news really quick. The president vetoes the bill. The campaign bill has been vetoed. And after its approval by the assembly, by majority vote on Friday following a three-hour debate, Frank Ritter, who also objected to, uh, to the funding package, saying it contained too much unfairness in the allocation of budget, also sought to delay proceedings by demanding a formal recorded vote, but was overruled. The bill passed the assembly, but failed to, be, uh, to become law by the president. Exactly. So at least Frank Richards, uh, my opposition leader, he, he's going to be happy with me. He was on the same side as me right there, you know. That's important. Radical unfair campaign finance bill uh, crushed. There we go. The unfair campaign finance bill. This is one I'm talking about, boys. A new bill that further expands the unfairness of our election system has been approved by the assembly. So the assembly is broken apart. They're trying to break apart the, the whole thing. It's not going to happen. It was later vetoed by the president. Rain deserves credit for crushing the undi uh, undemocratic proposal. Exactly. That was not democratic right there. That was the last democratic thing ever that you could do is uh, get rid of the budget for other parties. So the bill sought to rules. The insane proposal will also result in the governor governing uh, parties share to, from the funds to double. Luckily, president uh, showed us that he can go against his own party when he needs to be done. Exactly. I can go against my own party if I need to do uh, what needs to be done, boy. So uh, remember to leave a like and subscribe if you did enjoy the video. I'll see you guys for the next one. Keep it easy.